Okay, um, it's a niche zero grinder. I've been using it for quite a while. I can't remember what the last grinder had. I'm pretty sure there's a few, quite a few espressos. I was doing brewed coffee earlier. I just want to show how um, easy a grinder it is to get the burrs out um, and clean them. How easy it is to get all the burrs out to deep clean. And also just to show you what the total retention, which is a figure I use, is to what the grinder holds. In other words, all the coffee in the grinder after you've ground everything out, you've done everything, um, you've done, been grinding for many, many shots, and you just grind and make sure everything's ground out. What remains in that grinder is what I call total retention. So let's have a look and see what that is. I'm going to take off the adjustment ring which is infinitely adjustable, it can be made as coarse or as fine as you want. I'm just going to put that out of the way. Now, you can probably see in the grinder, and I'm going to show, use a torch because I think that's sort of helpful. You can see in the grinder there what's going on. A little bit of coffee trapped in the burrs. So I'm going to whip the top burr out and brush any grinds back into the grinder because I want to weigh all this. So the top burr comes out with the fingers, like that, and I really want to brush that clean. I use a tiny set of brushes. We're going to brush that clean into the chamber. So all the coffee from the top burr in the breaker zone um, in, into the chamber there. There we go. Obviously get some big bits. And I'm going to try and get the coffee out of these screw holes. now. This coffee in the screw holes is stuck there. It doesn't exchange. Each time you grind, this doesn't get replaced with fresh coffee. It just fills it up and sticks there. And it's the reason why in the first couple of grinds out of a grinder like this, you won't get out what you put in. You'll lose a bit of coffee because it'll go into filling these voids. So let's carefully get this out. In there, perhaps. Into the chamber. Okay. Now the grind pot was completely empty. As it would be said, so that's it. That's all the coffee I can get out of there. Put the burrs down. The next thing I do is my little brush. Um, brush off this top screw. Now remember, I'm not cleaning. I'm, I'm showing you here um, how you can assess retention on a grinder. Okay, and how you should do it. You brush the top burr out on top of the sweep arms. And you make sure that burr is clean as you can. Then we're going to pop it off. Now obviously the process for disassembling the grinder is really, really quick and uh, doesn't take very long at all, which is one of the great things because grinders should be cleaned much more often than people do. Now let's get this spur off. As you can see, it's a, a, a no effort process. It's just a 10 mil socket on the end of a, a screwdriver here. That comes off and now we can look into the burr chamber. I'm trying to do unbroken video so you know, there's obviously no cheating going on. And then there we are into the burr chamber of the grinder. Okay, I don't know if you can see what's in there. Okay, I'm going to sweep as much as I can off the burr. Let's do that. Before I remove it. So here's the burr. This is much coffee as I can get off this. I'm trying to be meticulous. I use a small brush so the brush doesn't retain any. Sweep that into the chamber. Put the burr on the table. Ooh, double check. No, there's nothing on the bottom. Right, the next thing I've got is the sweep arms. They do hold a little bit. So I've got to carefully get them off and try and sweep it all into the chamber. They're highly polished. It can be a little bit awkward to get them. And as you can see, a little bit. Catches on the sweep arms. And all this coffee adds up, you know, it's surprising how much it adds up. And when you take a grinder apart, I mean, a lot of grinders you can't get below the burr carriers, and there's coffee there you can't get out and don't even know about it. So those are clean. Now we have left the coffee in the grinder. Now, when I removed the burrs, I disturbed a, a ring of coffee that sits around there and compacts and doesn't actually exchange. It sits around the bottom of the burrs. There it is. I don't know if you can see. That's everything I could get swept off the burrs 
and out of the grinder. Okay, bring the thing back. Now what I'm going to do is sweep, and there's a little ring above the sweep arms which it retains, which obviously is there. I'm going to sweep all this coffee into the little pot. Okay, and it's all going to the catcher cup below. Sweep the entire chamber, including the. I'll move it forward. I don't know if you can see them. I'll put the light on again. Including the screw heads, or the Allen bolt heads, which also fill up the coffee, and that doesn't exchange either. So let's carry on screwing it out. Okay. So we're satisfied and get everything out of the chamber and then I want to get the brush down into the tube and this tube here give it some taps doesn't actually hold anything as it's a, an advanced polymer as is the uh, other parts of the grinder so they're very very slippery and seem to suppress static so they don't really hold anything now I think I've got that chamber yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much completely clean uh, as far as I can. There we go. That's pretty much as clean as I can get it. I'm going to shine a torch in there, let you see. In fact, there's a little bit at the back at, at the back I've just seen with the torch. Let's get that. Okay. So that grind chamber is now completely clean of coffee, um, and we're going to weigh. What came out of the grinder? I'm not going to turn the video off so you can see that I'm, I'm not adjusting anything. Uh, what I need to do is actually turn on the scales, okay, and I'm going to tear them out. Well, they're zeroed. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm going to try and zoom in on just the scales for you. Now, my eyes aren't so good these days. And move the grinder slightly and hopefully you, yes you can see the number on the scales it's all zeroed out now I'm going to tap the grinder take this pot here's the pot here's the retained coffee this is total retention and I'm going to tip it into the zeroed out scales and this is that's everything I could get out of that grinder. It had been grinding and grinding and grinding. And as you can see, it's 0 0.4 grams. I haven't cut the video in any way. I've purposely, I bought in a grinder. You have to take my word for it, that the grinder's just been used. I haven't opened it or specially cleaned it or anything like that. I, I wouldn't be that deceptive. Um, the maximum I've got out of it with diff because I've done very lots of different coffees in it. The maximum I've had has been about 0.67 grams. So or 0.65-ish. That's the most I've had. You normally comes out about this. So I, I sort of feel in the review I'm gonna to have to say retention max. Say point point seven to be absolutely sure. But you've just seen here me open up a grinder that's been grinding and out it comes at 0.42. I brushed everything, the burrs, whatever. There's nothing in the tube. I can stick my finger up the tube, which you probably can't, couldn't see. Well, let's turn it around. I can zoom out again. Oh, sorry about this. I really don't want to cut the video in case you think I'm doing something underhand. Yeah, I can stick my finger right up that grinding tube, bring it out, and it's just brown. There's no weight of coffee there. It's just a brown smear. The tube really doesn't hold anything, okay? So I'm not claiming 0.42 grams because I've seen variants up to 0 0.6, 0 0.65, I think as much as 0.68 on one occasion. After And what I do, I put espresso grind in, I grind, I grind, I grind, I grind, I grind, do various shots, make sure that the dose variance is down to nothing. It's not accumulating any more grinds. Then I open it up like this completely, brush it all, out and weigh it and it's normally about 0 0.4 0 0.5 it has been as much as like I say 0.68 so 
The safest thing for me to do is say claim variance, uh, uh, sorry, a, a dose, a total retention figure of 0.7 grams. Now, you know, I, if you think this video is fake, then you're not going to believe anything. But yeah, I, I couldn't get any more out. I know use my little brushes. Now, the other thing that people don't seem to believe is the dose variance each time you grind, which is very, very small very small indeed so i'm going to sit here i'm going to have to do three two or three shots make sure this grind because obviously there's total retention what a grinder can hold after you've ground out the beans you've done your dose there shouldn't be anything left it's what a grinder hangs on to part of that retained coffee the 0.4 grams is going to come out in your next grind and part one and i've measured that as well so i know 0.3 grams of it uh, most comes out in the next one. I think it's 0.3. It's in the review. That's been measured. Um, I, I found a way that I could accurately measure it. And uh, the dose variance obviously can only be a maximum of uh, the, the exchange value because whatever portion of these, this 0.4 grams is exchanged, can only really make up the dose variance because the retention doesn't really change that much in use with a particular coffee anyway i'm going to pop this together i'll keep the video on while i do it you've seen it cleaned out and i'm going to start grinding uh, wastes a bit of coffee which is a little bit unfortunate and we're going to have a look at the dose variance so um i don't know why i've got the ring let's let's put everything back together now i've not cleaned it particularly shiny i should really get an, an e-cloth and make sure it's shiny because um, my the oils in my fingers would have a an effect, but let's not bother. I can't. I can't be bothered. I don't want to break the video to do that. Um, let's put this back on. Okay, so that locates in a little pip uh, in, in the sweeper arms. Let's put this clip back on. There's a keyway. We line up, and when that keyway is lined up, this little doohickey will sit right on the top of the burr. Put the screw on, I will start it by hand. I nip it up. And then let's nip it up. How I do it, I turn it until the burrs begin to turn. Now I hold the burr and I give it just a little tweak. No need to jam screwdrivers in or anything like that. Take the top burr, get him on, slide him in. The springs there, they'll obviously push it back against the adjustment ring, and they also allow for the fact that um, it, it, it's located in the right way, can't spin. So there's no spin force on this adjustment ring, hence it, it never tries to move, which is uh, it means you can actually adjust it very, very easily. There's no massive tension had to be put on the ring to prevent movement because those lugs ensure there is no, no turning force, they're in addition to the standard burr. So I, I close him up and I get him to the point where I can't, you know, you know the fingers, the tips are just slipping. And I bring him back to about there as an espresso grinder. What we're going to do, we're going to grind dose after dose after dose and you can see what the dose variability is on video for yourself. You don't have to believe me. I'm going to grind 10 gram doses just to save coffee, but it's the same for a 20 gram dose. There's no, no difference. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now.